everybody, welcome back again to the AD&D 2nd Edition channel. I've just got a few items here that I wanted to show that I picked up thrifting lately. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you right here is uh, something I paid $4 for. The reason why it's not in the bag right now is because I, I had to refilm all this uh, just because of technical difficulties, but you'll have to believe me when I say I picked up a whole bunch of dinosaurs here for 4 bucks. It was in a bag, and you can see... Uh, some of them are kind of interesting. I think that one would be some kind of critter that would be pretty nice for D&D. Some of the smaller ones here, we'll get into some more interesting ones and I'll move these out of the way while we get into sort of the larger uh, dinosaurs that were in this fairly sizable bag. So, uh, so far so good though, I think. This one here, I don't know if I'm gonna have a lot of use for. It's, it's kind of like really big and bulky and I don't know, uh, I mean there's some detail there, but just kind of a weird derpy head on the top of it, so not too interested in that one, but there are some sort of T-Rex styles and Raptor style ones here, so thought that one would be uh, pretty good, and if you put it next to an official mini sort of like this, you can see the, the size difference between the two of them, and really comparable, uh, you know, to scale kind of thing, uh, going with this one, so I kind of like that guy. Uh, same thing here, you get even larger sized, so that's kind of nice. And similarly, uh, this one here also as well, and a really nice looking one, I think. Probably doesn't even need that much of a paint job on it. Pretty nice little toy uh, that is just wonderful for D&D, really. And then uh, this was also in there, this thing that came from that uh, How to Train a Dragon movie, not really useful. Uh, but this here really interested me and you're not seeing double because it's actually the truth here. This is a two-headed uh, T-Rex and I thought that was too cool. Um, and normally, you know, I see bags of uh, dinosaurs all the time. I mean, it's a pretty popular kids toy, but I'd never seen anything quite like this and I thought that would be something really cool uh, to turn into a miniature there. So really neat thing and uh, check that out really kind of cool so uh, all that you know for four bucks not too bad at all uh, next thing here is I found something and it's from a uh, kind of like a chess sort of game but it's it has sort of board game aspects to it as well and there's a few uh, miniatures from this game and I believe it's called uh, Navia Draft I, I'm not sure exactly what that uh, pertains to but you can see the miniatures a little bit bigger but in a way it's still kind of in scale if you're going for some sort of more giant sized uh people here so kind of cool and these ones are already sort of pre-painted although they're sort of factory looking and kind of bland so they probably need a little bit of a, a touch up but at the same time you can see these like interesting bases that they're on um, and end up ripping those off of there and uh, putting them on to like you know regular bases I think they'll look pretty cool. Um, in there also was a whole bunch of other ones that are not uh, painted. They're just this sort of grayish kind of color here. And you can see uh, this little guy, I don't really know a whole lot like about that, but um, it looks like some sort of strange critter. Uh, again, you could probably figure out something you can use it for D&D. &D. Um, again, I'm just trying to put it up here next so you can sort of see the size. A comparison this is a giant compared to a regular mini but a really cool kind of a bird sort of creature uh, if you can think of things that are comparable and usable for D, &D that would be really cool I hear something that's a little bit uh, bigger as well but nice uh, Nice sculpts and there's lots of detail on these so I'm not really sure about this game I know it's something like chess I saw some sort of unboxing of these and the person actually I watched the video of uh, also mentioned they would use them for D&D so it's kind of funny that I found that but you can see uh, that fairy there pretty cool and I think would fit nicely in with everything this here I think probably would work as some sort of statue actually I don't really know what critter that would be or creature or monster that would be, but still cool nonetheless. Um, this one here again, probably like a statue type of thing, just like a tortoise with a 
almost like a metallic shell. I'm not really sure what this game is all about that this came from, but I do appreciate the miniatures that are there. Another sort of bird-like creature. But again, lots of detail there and it could uh, paint up. Things are a little bit uh, wobbly, but I'm sure there's probably minis out there that are more so. Something like this, like a minotaur kind of style. Really cool. Again, just so you can have sort of a size comparison there. Pretty nice. And uh, the final one, I think, I believe we've already seen those ones, would be uh, this one right here. And I think this is probably one of the cooler looking ones. Has like a cat like head, cat tail, uh, armored creature. So, really, really cool. And I'm sure you can all think of uh, different applications of this for Dungeons and Dragons, but again, really giant size, so this would be like from the land of a giants or something. Um, but that being said, they're in there, there was, uh, let's see, one. So there were 11 uh, miniatures in that bag there, which I thought was pretty good, and again, uh, that bag was, I believe, $4 as well, like $3.99 with tax, so it ended up being like $4.50 uh, for all these minis, so... I'm pretty happy with that and I'll definitely find a use for them, which is really nice. I'll move these out of the way and I'll show you the final things which I think are super cool. Um, let's get into that. So I found a few uh, dragons here and although I don't know what you would call this kind of dragon, it has sort of like a bird's head, but again, like really cool toy here and these ones uh, have a tendency to go for like 20 bucks and up the ones I'm about to show you I got this for $4 uh, really nice kind of interesting um, these were sitting on the floor in a value village uh, it looks like somebody was looking at them and then decided not to buy them uh, otherwise they would have been hanging up uh, they were just in bags little baggies sitting on the floor so I saw them and ran over and kind of scooped them up because pretty awesome uh, dragons that's for sure and again this one here I think goes for like 20 to 30 sometimes and uh, again nicely detailed you could base that up and you'd be good to go this one sort of sits I don't know if I can really show it to you but basically it sits like on its like on on it like uh, downward not like up like this sort of thing so still cool again just like different style of dragons you could Put in your game throw that on the table people wouldn't know what they were facing up against you know so kind of cool and the last one and i've seen this one go for like 70 or something online it's crazy uh what this it's a brand called schleisig or something like that so i think it's like some german brand or something to that effect but this one here i think i've seen like between 50 and 70 dollars uh people want for this one so it's really cool and again uh perfect for D and if we take our sort of uh, you know <laughs> our mini next to that that is one imposing dragon so uh, really nice you can see their mouths move but you can glue those in place I'm sure and really maybe a, a quick little uh, wash on that and you've got yourself uh, quite the miniature not so many of those quite large size so again those I think all together were about 12 bucks and I think there's probably over a hundred dollars worth of uh, of toys right there just in the three of those but that being said that's everything i got for you this time around thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do feel free to thumbs up this video comment down below and i'll see you all later